Hey, is your Mac running a little bit slow? It can happen from time to time where the Mac just does not run the way that it used to run when you first got it. Mac OS Sonoma is great. I love it. I upgraded it from the previous version and it runs quite well. But then what's gonna happen is over time, the more and more you're using your Mac, it's just not gonna run as well as it did at the start. All good things do come to an end, unfortunately, including your Mac speed. Oh, and if you're visiting here for the very first time, my name is Emilio. This is Tech with Emilio. We talk about all things tech. You need to smash that subscription button. That's what you gotta do. Well, actually don't smash it because that would not be good, but you can click on it with your mouse or with your finger if you're on a smartphone. We release videos every single week on all things tech. So click on that bell so you don't miss out on any of those notifications. 15 things that you could try to get your Mac running better. And look, and even if your Mac is running okay, putting some of these into practice will probably get it running even better than that. You gotta check the activity monitor. You can find it by going into the spotlight and typing activity monitor. You can also go via the finder. But then once you open it up, you're essentially gonna get a little snapshot on how your Mac is performing. How much is the CPU being used? How much is memory being used? How is the network performance? And then more specifically, what are the applications that are sucking up all of those resources? You may see some apps in there that you're gonna go, huh, I didn't know that that was doing that thing. I don't actually need that or I can close it off and you can select some of those apps. You can force quit them as essentially close those apps from your Mac. So always keep an eye on the activity monitor. Now, when you open up your Mac, when you start up your Mac, behind the scenes, behind the curtains, there's all these apps that start up automatically. Did you know that? But there's stuff secretly behind the scenes, sapping all of the resources, all of the energy from your Mac. You're gonna to wanna to go and open up the system preferences for this one and go to the general area. And there are a whole bunch of your apps that are running in the background, logging things, things that start up automatically that you don't even know about. You don't want those to run in the background. You don't want those to start up, turn them off, remove them. Now here's a two for one, limiting stuff on your desktop. One, you're just gonna feel better because your desktop is just cleaner. It frustrates me. It's one of those, you know, people have got pet peeves. That's one of my pet peeves. When you look at people's desktops and there's junk everywhere, folders, files, everywhere. Keep it clean, maintain it, do some housekeeping on your desktop. You'll feel better about it. But also, it's gonna make your computer running a little bit faster because stuff that's on your desktop is chewing up some resources, not a lot but it's doing something. You may now wanna go and do a bit of a disc cleanup, do a little bit of a first aid on your Mac. You can find this puppy by going into the spotlight in the top right hand corner, type in disc, you'll see disc utility. Here are your hard drives. This is your hard drive on your Mac. Select that hard drive, click on first aid. It'll go do a check. It'll go and fix things that are not working well. And you may get a little bit of performance improvement. You know, when you go into the spotlight in the top right hand corner to search for stuff, you've already been doing it in this video. Well, how does it know where to find that stuff? Well, what's happening is behind the scenes, your Mac, your spotlight is just searching the entire library, every file, and it's indexing things so that it knows when you're gonna type in something to look for it, it can find a little bit faster. Well, sometimes that indexing doesn't work as well as it should. You can go into your system preferences right here, look for Siri and Spotlight, scroll down. So sometimes it's good to clear it out and start all over again. Let the whole Mac clear out all of the old search history or the indexing history and start again. Why don't you look at offloading some storage? If you don't need stuff on your Mac, the reality is the more junk you've got on your Mac, the slower it's gonna run. It's just gonna be accumulating all of this stuff. And similar to the desktop one, this is a two for one. You remove old data, remove old things that you don't actually need. And once you're removing all of this sort of stuff, go and do the spotlight thing again, removing all of the spotlight stuff, go and do a disk cleanup again, See how that works. Do you wanna get some improvements around your browser? Go and clear out your browser history. Go and clear out your caches or your caches from all of your browsers. If you're on Safari, Firefox, Google Chrome, there's different areas in all of these browsers. Go and clear that out. Your internet experience is just gonna be that little bit better. The next one is to reduce those visual effects. If you don't have any of these fancy stuff, all of these nice little graphics, which the Mac is very well known for, turn them off or reduce them. Going into your system preferences again, go into the desktop and dock area. Do you want that little fancy effect when you're 
hovering over the dock. No, or turn off magnification. Minimizing your windows? Don't use the genie effect. Do you really need to animate your applications when they're opening? No, turn it off. You can also go to the accessibility section, into display and look at toggling some of these things on and off. You won't be disappointed. You know, there's good reason why the Mac OS people, the people who make applications, release updates because of two things. One, because there's some security bugs, right? The other, they found a way maybe to run the application or to run Mac OS faster. So make sure that you're keeping your Mac up to date and your applications up to date. Clear out the cache or the caches, depending on where you're from, from your Mac. There's a few spots that you can do this from the finder. Within the library section, there's a couple of spots, one that is hidden, one that is not hidden. Go in and clearing this out, you'll see a little bit of an improvement. You'll probably need to restart your Mac when that is done. Now, this may remove some settings from some of your applications because it sort of keeps some information about how you've configured them. Don't worry though, you can just reconfigure them again, but clearing these out, you'll find things will work a little bit better. Control the amount of widgets that you've got running. Widgets can cause a lot of grief around your speed because they're ultimately running in the background, sucking the juice from that computer. If you don't need things inside your notification center, remove them. Here's another one that'll help if your Mac is just being very, very stubborn. And that is resetting some of these RAMs in the background, the MVRAM and the PRAM. Now for this one, you will have to shut down your Mac. So close out of everything. Now what you're gonna wanna do here is you're gonna hold down the option command P and R and switch that Mac on. After about 20 seconds of holding that, you wanna remove your fingers and that is your PRAM and your NVRAM being reset. All right, we're almost there, three more to go. Keep your Mac cool. Don't use it with the sun just blaring on. Have you ever felt a Mac when it's been, have, like when the sun's been blaring on it all day? Keep the thing cool, run it in a cool space. Get one of those external little fan things if you're on a laptop, they're pretty helpful. Now, if all of those things have failed, the second last thing that you can do is uh, reinstall Mac OS. Remove everything, reinstall your Mac OS. Uh, I know you don't want to hear that, but sometimes things are so bad that you've got no other options than to reset your Mac and reinstall Mac OS. Sorry about that. So what if you've done all of that and it just still hasn't worked? Uh, what can you do? You're gonna have to pump it with some more RAM, maybe. You go buy some more RAM from the computer store. You may need a new Mac. Uh, yeah, I know. A little bonus one, if you want a really great tool, I love this tool. I've used it for years and years on my Mac. Clean my Mac, you can go check it out. I've got a link to it down below in my show notes. One of those all-in-one tools that have always helped me just to automate some of the stuff that we've talked about in this video to help me clean my Mac. There you go, we're done. Subscribe, click on the button on the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Comment below, let me know what you think. Yay, nay. Stay tuned, we release videos every single week on all things tech. Next video is coming up right now. We'll see you then.